Welcome to the review by DJS BRC. Today we have one of the newest in the fleet. Um, is the Fiesta ST Rally from Traxxas. Um, you will notice too in your future video coming, there's even another vehicle joining the fleet. There's a couple of vehicles this year joining the fleet. But this is one of the uh, newest one where I have. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see what's on the box. You have one of the uh, color schemes right here, and this is the uh, basically the uh, orange and blue. You do have the green. Uh, I don't remember exactly green and something else. They say it's green something. I'm not a big fan of the green one. I prefer this one here, but let's find out what's in the box very soon. But before, let's look what the box give us. Uh, it is the 110 Fiesta ST Rally VXL version, 60 mile plus out of the box ish. Let's see if they gave us a uh, speed pinion. Uh, I do know if you go with a 31 pitch or 21 two, should I say, uh, you could hit the 60 mile an hour. But with the stock one, I think it's, a, will say a 15, maybe even a, eh, it's a four, four by four. I would say maybe a 12, uh, should hit a good 45 miles an hour. Um, it is miles here in Canada. We're in kilometers. Um, but yeah, um, <clears throat> it is a low CG vehicle. VXL 3,500 KV. All the blue parts you'll see on the vehicle itself is the extreme heavy duty, uh, heavy duty extreme, uh, dry shafts. That's in it. Um, heavy duty extreme, they say shock tower, caster. Um, carriers, things like that. It, it is nice that's what they did, at least. Uh, it has a high torque digital uh, steering uh, servo. It's the 2075, probably still plastic gears inside. Come on, Traxxas, upgraded to at least uh, steel. That would be fun. Uh, seal uh, gear diff. Dual bell crank steering, uh, it has oil fill shocks, pretty much shiny RC, that's what they have now. But one of the things they did do is the pivot ball shock cap now, that they did not have in the past, something new. And what else do we have? That's about it, like I said, they offer two colors, the orange and, uh, the orange and red and bluish, and the green and other colors. Let's open this box and see what's inside. Now I peeked once already, I opened it. Let's put this aside. When you open the box, you have your vehicle wrapped in plastic. And it's body clip list ish No body pins. That's one thing I do like. Uh, now, if you do ride your vehicle in the winter time, if you have winter where you are, I'm not sure how that's going to work 100%. But I don't, even if I do have winters here. Take the vehicle off, put it aside. Let's see what comes in the box. You flip this open. You have your manuals, your spare shock uh, extension if you want to put more load on your shocks. You have your tools and we do have a pinion. We do have a 19 gear tooth pinion for a little bit more speed. Now if I remember correctly, this one should give us roughly about maybe 50 to 55 miles an hour. If we really want uh, to hit the 60 miles an hour, we need that 31. That's an option. Why they don't give it with it beats me. 
Come on, Traxxas. Uh, we do have the Traxxas TQI remote, the stock remote right here that I won't use. And put this part aside. <clears throat> Let's bring this vehicle back. Um, it's, it's seriously, it's a nice body. Uh, yes, I'm uh, a Ford guy to heart. And this is a Ford Fiesta. But besides that, it's seriously, it's awesome. Um, yeah. Flip it aside and you have your underneath. Now to remove this body itself, kind of a small trick to it. Once you get the, the, the hang of it, it's super easy to remove. You'll put your fingers on the sides and you'll find these clips here. There's two of them, okay? Let me bring it closer to the camera. Unfortunately, I'm alone today. You see it right here on all four corners. Basically, you're going to pull on them towards the outside. You'll feel it pop. You do all four and your body's off. And this is the clipping body underneath. You will notice here there is posts front and back. Keep that in mind for the moment. It's to go here to align your body to the chassis itself. Give you guys a little bit closer look here. Like I was saying, everything that's a blue part, it's extremely heavy duty. They say uh, it's a harder plastic takes a bitter beating. You have the front shock tower, you have your knuckles, um, you have your rear carriers, rear shock tower. The only thing I did to it, I 3D printed a mount for a fan to put on the ESC. Works great, awesome, love it too. And it plugs in the stock ESC uh, connection for the, uh, like the, the Villion one has one from Traxxas. Besides that, heavy duty uh, axles, but the drive shafts, front and rear, that I do like too. They're really, really beefy. And the other thing they did too, I'm not sure if the camera is going to catch it, but where your connections are on your uh, CVDs here or drive shafts, they added like a, a, a spacer to Give, give, give that pin more rigidity not to come out. That I do like. We still have the aluminum dry shaft in the middle. VXL for sure. Seriously, it's a very nice machine. Very nice. I like it. I can't wait to try it out. I heard only great things about this. Um, there is another version of this vehicle is the BLS2. That is basically a brush version. A ah, brush, sorry. It's a brushless. But you look at the motor, it looks like a brush motor, but it is brushless. But 2S only. This guy here will do a 2S up to a 3S. No problem. Um, and the, major, the other major difference with the BLS doesn't have all the blue parts. If I remember correctly, I could be wrong on that one. Center dry shaft is plastic. Uh, shocks are still plastic. Even on this one here, they're plastic. This I might upgrade to aluminum. I'm not sure yet. Uh, there's a couple of things I will do to this vehicle here. Uh, I want to do sway bars in the back just to keep the back end a little bit more stable. Not gonna try it in the front yet. That's coming. Uh, I have a shroud to put inside here. One of the things that these vehicles here, uh, pretty much in the rally, once if you do a lot of dirt, yeah, this is a dirt magnet galore. Yeah, you'll remove the body itself and then you'll need to start removing your whatever it's inside. Uh, it has a foam bumper in the front that I do like. It will protect the front end a little bit of this body. And it has the uh, 
rally wheels on it. That I like the design. And supposedly these are not that bad. That's what I heard. Uh, there are 2.2s outside and 3.0 inside. Basically a uh, short course wheel. The links are fully adjustable front and rear. Yeah. Water resistant. They do say waterproof on the box, but I got to remember, these are not submarines. They're not made to be played underwater. Just be careful if you do. Uh, it comes with the uh, VXL3S Easy Step Tips. I would suggest to read this. Believe it or not, do read it. It will tell you information about the USC. If the light flashes certain colors, what does it mean? Besides that, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, on the body itself, it has the two-part wing that should help it a lot. And like I said, I do like this body a lot. It feels more rigid than normal Traxxas body. I feel like they're using a, a thicker plastic, a thicker Lexan on it or something. You just align it and push on the middle. And there you go. Now, if you guys have any questions or comments posted down below, I'll be glad to answer you guys. And stay tuned for another vehicle coming to your nearest channel to you. Something like that, let's say. But yes, if you do like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate it. It helps the channel a lot. Thank you for watching.